क्वेश्चन फोर से विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर ऑफ लीनर इक्वेशन आर कंसिस्टेंट और इनकन्सिस्टेंट इफ कंसिस्टेंट ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन ग्राफिकली सो फॉर ईच पेयर ऑफ लीनर इक्वेशन वी हैव टू फाइंड वेदर इट इज कंसिस्टेंट और नॉट सो वी कैन डू दैट बाई फाइंडिंग द रेशियोज ऑफ द कोफिशेंट्स लाइक वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज एंड देन फॉर द पेयर विच आर कंसिस्टेंट फॉर द पेयर विच आर कंसिस्टेंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द सोल्यूशन ग्राफिकली सो वेन इज अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन कंसिस्टेंट वेल अ कंसिस्टेंट पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन हैज एट लीस्ट वन सोल्यूशन एंड वॉट कंस्ट्रेंट्स विल द कोफिशेंट्स नीड टू सेटिस्फाई फॉर द पेयर ऑफ इक्वेशन टू बी कंसिस्टेंट वीव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन बट लेट्स स्टिल रिकैप इट क्विकली वंस अगेन सो कंसिडर एनी पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस C1 वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस इज कंसिस्टेंट इन इन टू केसेज आइदर ए वन बाई ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू इन विच केस द सिस्टम विल हैव अ यूनिक सोल्यूशन द लाइन्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस पेयर ऑफ इक्वेशन विल इंटरसेक्ट एंड द सोल्यूशन विल be unique there will be just one solution the other possibility is uh, for the system to be consistent is that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and both of these ratios are also equal to c1 by c2 and in this case the pair the lines representing this pair of equations will be coincident they will be identical they will be the same line basically so this pair will have infinitely many solutions which means that it will be consistent so in both of these cases the pair of equations will be consistent and where it will not be consistent is this possibility where a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but both of these ratios are not equal to c1 by c2 so in this case the lines representing the pair this pair will be parallel they will never intersect so the given pair will have no solution so these are the three possibilities now let's check each pair and find out whether it is consistent or not so the first pair is x plus y equal to 5 or minus 5 equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y equal to 10 or 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 so a1 by a2 is 1 the coefficient of x by 2 so 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is again 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is minus 5 by minus 10 which is 1 by 2 in the lowest form so all these three ratios are equal which means that the first pair will have infinitely many solutions or it is consistent so the first pair is consistent now let's take the second pair so the second pair is x minus y equal to 8 or x minus y minus 8 equal to 0 and 3x minus 3y is equal to 16 or minus 16 equal to 0 so a1 by a2 is 1 by 3 b1 by b2 is minus 1 by minus 3 so that's 1 by 3 in the lowest form so both of these are equal so let's check c1 by c2 so that's minus 8 by minus 16 so that's c1 by c2 and this is half in the lowest form so it's not equal to 1 by 3 so in this case in the second part we have a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so this second pair is inconsistent the lines representing this pair will be parallel now let's take the third part so the third part is 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0 and 4x minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 so a1 by a2 is 2 by 4 b1 by b2 is 1 by minus 2 so these are not equal so a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 which means that the lines representing this pair will intersect it will have a unique solution so this is consistent finally let's take the fourth part so the fourth part is 
टू एक्स माइनस टू वाई माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर एक्स माइनस फोर वाई माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो सो ए वन बाई ए टू विल बी इक्वल टू टू बाई फोर दैट्स हाफ इन द लोएस्ट फॉर्म बी वन बाई बी टू इज माइनस टू बाय माइनस फोर सो माइनस टू बाई माइनस फोर सो दैट्स ऑल्सो हाफ इन द लोएस्ट फॉर्म सो दीज टू आर इक्वल एंड देन सी वन बाई सी टू इज माइनस टू बाय माइनस फाइव और टू बाय फाइव सो दिस इज नॉट इक्वल सो ए वन बाई बी ए टू इज इक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू नॉट इक्वल टू सी वन बाई सी टू विच मीन्स दैट द लाइन्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस पेयर आर पैरल दे नेवर इंटरसेक्ट दिस पेयर हैज़ नो सोल्यूशन सो दिस पेयर इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट सो ऑफ द फोर पेयर्स द फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड वन आर कंसिस्टेंट एंड द सेकेंड एंड द फोर्थ वन आर इनकन्सिस्टेंट नाउ वॉट विल डू इज वी विल ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द कंसिस्टेंट पेयर्स ग्राफिकली सो द फर्स्ट पेयर विच वॉज कंसिस्टेंट वॉज एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू फाइव एंड टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई इक्वल टू टेन वी फाउंड दैट दिस पेयर विल हैव इन्फाइनाइटली मैनी सोल्यूशंस बिकॉज द कोफिशंट्स आर इन द सेम रेशो In fact, you can obtain the second equation from the first equation just by multiplying the first equation by two. So the two equations will give us the same line. They will the lines will be identical, and hence all points lying on this identical line will be valid solutions of the pair of equations. So what we can do is plot just one of these lines, and that will suffice because the second line will be the same. So let's plot x plus y equal to five. and to do that let's plot let's find out any two solutions of this equation so i could take so let's draw an xy table and let's use any two values of x and find the corresponding values of y so if i take x equal to 1 then y will be equal to 4 and if i take x equal to 4 then y will be equal to 1 So one comma four and four comma one are two solutions of this equation. So one comma four is this point here, and four comma one is this point here. And now all I need to do is draw the line through these two points. And this line is the solution line corresponding to the first equation, and this line will also be the solution line corresponding to the second equation. So all points on this line. are solutions of this pair of equations so th this was the first pair now let's pick the second pair so the second pair was which was consistent was 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0 and 4x minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and we found that this pair has a unique solution because a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 in this case hence the two lines corresponding to these two equations should intersect and that point of intersection will be the required solution so let's plot the two lines now so let's plot the first line first 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0 so again to do that we can find out any two solutions of this equation so if i take x equal to 1 in the first equation so i'm right now working with the first equation so if i take x equal to 1 then you can check that y will be equal to 4 and if i take x equal to 3 then y will be equal to 0 so i'm using values of x which will give me integer values of y so 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 0 are two solutions of this first equation so let's plot these two solutions so 1 comma 4 is here and 3 comma 0 is this point here and now i need to simply draw the line through these two points so i can do it like this so this is the solution line of the corresponding to the first equation now let's do the same exercise for the second equation 4x minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 so again let's draw an xy table and take two values two integer values of x for which y is also an integer So if I take x equal to one, then y will be equal to zero. And if I take x equal to three, so if I take x equal to three, then y will be equal to four. 
so 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 4 are two solutions of the second equation so let's plot them now so 1 comma 0 is this point here and 3 comma 4 is this point here and now let's draw the line through them so the line through them will look something like this and this line is the solution line of the second equation now these two lines intersect at this point here and this point is 2 comma 2 so this is the solution point of this pair of equations so the solution will be the coordinates of this point 2 comma 2 or in other words x is 2 and y is 2 so this is the solution of this pair of equations so with that we have found out we have graphically found out the solutions of the two of the four given pairs which were consistent to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.